Hallo Leute, willkommen zu einer Folge von Doki Doki Blue Skies Mod. Letzte Folge hatten wir mit Theory die Goodie Bags vorbereitet für das Festival, was äh, auch wieder heute ansteht, aber wir werden es natürlich wie üblich jetzt skippen, weil wir es ja schon kennen. Und ja, ich bin mal sehr gespannt, was so uns erwartet. Und oh, da habe ich schon etwas Neues. Uh, sorry, where have you been? We could have been late for school. I know, sorry. I am. Oh, was that again? I oh, couldn't decide what to have for breakfast again. Give me leap outs. You're such a mean man sometimes. <laughs> you know my teeth is all in good fun, right? She wants something under her breath. Of course. By the way, I also double checked the little bags. They're all in here. She just 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 the large sack by a bright smile uh, uh, a bright smile evident on her face. Good stuff, sir. People are gonna love them. It was a really good idea. Candy, bookmarks, and literature quotes. Perfect things to give out from a uh, from our event. Uh huh. Something for everyone. Although I'm kind of nervous for the festival. Und das ist schon anscheinend wieder neue Sachen. Ich nehme an, das nächste, was jetzt passiert, ist vielleicht bei den Vorbereitungen jetzt. Yep, voilà. Uh, Seori, did you mind, uh, do you mind uh, handing me that sack you got? I'll help you distort, uh, dis dispute, oh my god, distribute uh, all of the stuff inside it. Okay, here we go. Peering inside, I catch sight of qu uh, quite a small small colorful bags, neatly tied shut with ribbons. Ah, just I remember. I hadn't any work from yesterday really shows. I'll pull one out. Even Monica knows the little bags, looking on with interest. Ah, uh, so this is what you and Carlson have been working on over the weekend, Siri. I love all these, look. You both did a fantastic job. Oh, it's mostly Siri. I couldn't do the women part of in my life uh, if my life depended on it. <laughs> I'm sure the contents are just as impressive as the exterior. Yeah? What sort of things did you choose for the quotes? <laughs> we had a lot of fun with... We had a lot of fun with that. She did it, uh... Delic uh, dele oh my god. Delicately opens one of the little bags, fin uh, fishing out a quote. It's perfectly okay to write back garbage, as long as you add it brilliantly. Wait, I didn't put this one on. Oh yeah, that one was mine. Ah, I thought it was kind of funny. Monica giggles, but you and Sarah look like they're trying to figure out what that uh, what punchline is. Well, one of three isn't so bad. How about this one? I easily open another bag, pick out a quote. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets fixated on a specific point. Just force yourself to get something on a paper and tidy it up later. I like that one a lot, Kazuma. After all, it's pretty much true. If you never start, you can't make any progress. Keeping your pen in the same sp uh, spot would just result in a big bottle of ink. Oh, and such things, Simon, uh, uh, which Monica auch gesagt hat im Original. Huh. We couldn't find out who said that, which is a shame. Oh, you guys, uh, you, have you guys tried the candy? Uh, don't you think we should save those with the people we made these bags for, Sayori? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's kiss irritated voice wings over from across the classroom. Hey, if you guys are finished over there, can you actually sort uh, stuff out? You know, we do have a festival to prepare for. Shops and the uh, rest of us share a guilty grin. Natsuki's right. Uh, I suppose Natsuki raises a valid point. Yeah, let's get to, uh, let's get to it in. then. We each delve into the sack and scoop out the little bags, going around the classroom, setting them down on each desk. We printed out a few spare, spare quotes to put around the classroom, and it's long, not long before a few uh, few desks be, bear the wise words of writers and poets alike. So he wanders over to the front door and sticks out uh, uh, sticks one of the quotes there. I'm impressed by your thinking. Everyone will see that quote that way. It doesn't take long to distri distribute uh, all of the little bags one to the room. Of the corner of my eyes, but Sarah trying to sneakily open a bag and pop a candy into her mouth. Naturally, she drops the chocolate. Some things never change. Und, voilà, Szenenwechsel. Und da wird sich wahrscheinlich jetzt nicht wirklich viel ändern. Jetzt, alle doch. Apart from Sarah on Sunday, I haven't told anyone about how lonely I've been feeling. I'm a little nervous about how the others will react. They all turn to me, varying degrees of in, uh, emotion on uh, their uh, faces. So. Okay, das war so der Kontext. Let's give him patience and looks to the side. He, while Yuri gives me an expression of concern. So looks a little sad, remembering our conversation about this. It's okay, Kazuma. We can change that, remember? Like I said, I'm happy that you feel welcome here. It's exactly what we wanted. I agree. No one should feel alone. And it's quite a difficult thing to experience. I feel a warm flush of gratitude at their words. Thanks, guys. That means a lot. Also, Monica, I told Sorry this earlier and figured you might appreciate hearing this. Hmm? Well, no matter how the festival goes, I just want to say thank you to all of you. Thanks to you guys, that lonely feeling uh, has disappeared. You've been so welcoming and accepting, believe me, I'm really appreciative of that. So, even if this event doesn't quite go as planned, 
Just know that I really love it here, and I'm so glad that you uh, that Seo told me about this club. If I does not like what you have here, well, it's a loss, right? And we have schon the text gesehen. Okay. So, jetzt ist glaube ich Zeit, wo dann wir uh, präsentieren und es schief was geht. Ja, weil das ist nach dem Festival. Um, ich nehme dann von Monika, glaube ich hier. Wir haben das Video schon die zwei Varianten äh, gesehen. Machen einfach so. Ich glaube, äh, wenn ich mich sogar richtig erinnere, bei Monika, äh, wenn man Monika wählt, sieht es, glaube ich, besser aus als Jungen oder was so, ich weiß nicht. Ähm, aber ja. Okay. Maybe I'll just text her to see how she's doing. Although she's probably not awake yet, anyway. I haven't hung out with her in a while, and it might prove to be a nice surprise for her. Actually, the more I think about it, the more appealing the idea sounds. Imagine the festival fiasco probably upset her, giving her much she cares for the club and the other girls. Can't hurt to see if she's okay and take her mind off it. Besides, I can't imagine we, she really has much going on either. I'll grab my phone and shoot her me message. M message. Hey, sorry, what's up? No reply. I checked the time. Knowing so, uh, she's probably still sleeping. I suppose anything before noon is considered early for her. Then again, I'm not much better. The only reason I'm up so early on the Saturday is because I thought it was a school day. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I'll chuckle to myself. My parents would definitely be surprised if they learned I was up before midday on a sa Saturday. That used to joke around and call me no nocturnal like I was a vampire. Think about it, given my sleep cycles, it wasn't wrong. Shame I don't have the ability to turn a bed though. Or super speed. Well, at least the weather's nice. It's early October now, which is the best of both worlds. As in, it's not quite as hot as it is in the, uh, was in the summer, and the real bite of winter hasn't kicked in yet. That is wahr. It's fairly warm, with fluffy white clouds accompanying the blue skies. Uh, perching down a bench, I easily flick through my phone while I wait the uh, series reply. Funny, my phone goes off. Hi Kazuma, sorry about the lay, I just woke up lol. Called it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just wonder if you want to go to a park or something, it's a nice day after all. Chefing, which one? Lol, you see, I'll keep it a surprise. Sounds fun, just give me a few minutes to get ready, okay? Yep, just let me know when you're dressed and I'll meet you outside your house. Alrighty! As I slip my phone back into my pocket, I start, aimlessly, uh, I start to aimlessly plan what we'd get up to. There's a park near our house. When we were children, it was almost like a second home to us. So much time spent exploring. We used to get tons of ice cream at the playground after working the puppy dog eyes on our pa uh, parents. In fact, it was that uh, was at that part uh, that very park that I first met, first met Sayori. Something about ice cream? I'm not even surprised we met and initially bonded over food. Good times. No, no, no notification. Oh, shit, jetzt sterren die uh, uh, Rückblende davon uh, bekommen. Ah. Okay, I'm good. Coming out now. With Sir in tow, we make our way over. Already on my mind of the time we spent together last Sunday. I'm hoping, uh, hoping today is just as enjoyable. Although last time she got to learn a little more about me, I didn't get to learn much about her. Well, in the time, uh, time we've been apart. I got no idea about she's fighting school, what her interests are, her plans for the future, all that stuff. So, I know you said it's meant to be a surprise, but can I get a teeny, tiny hint? Hmm, should I? Please, after all, it's super early. I check my watch, it's half past 11. So, it's almost, almost noon. Yeah, super early. I mean, just not wrong. This is for me not too late, because for me it's too late, because I'm probably like, so, from 5, 6 in the morning, but it's another thing. I suppose you got a point. Alright, I need a con uh, conspiracy. Con oh my god. Conspiracy. This is super, uh, this is super top secret stuff. Understood, agent. If I gave you the current name Childhood, what would you think? You uh, scrunched up her face, fiddling with a stand of her hand her hands. Uh, uh, oh, I know. She's going to uh, get in the first one. I'll be mighty impressed. You're not taking me back to a mentally school, are you? Well, that hope, uh, hope got shut down, and can't help but sigh. No? Well, uh, we'll try. <laughs> I'll give you another hint. Do you remember where we first met? It wasn't in mentally school, was it? If you say that one more time. <laughs> kidding, kidding. It's kind of fun to wind up sometimes, you know? Makes a change from my always being a meanie to me. <laughs> you love it, really. It's the only way I can get you uh, back from all those tricks you used to play on me, you know? Tricks? I don't know what you're talking about. That innocent childlike grin is back on her face. Already I'm glad, glad I decided to text her instead of going back to sleep. What about the time you told my mom that I threw the tennis ball at you so she uh, so she make me give so she make me give you my candy? Or oh, the time we climbed that tree and got stuck, I told you it'd be too high, but she didn't listen. But that had to get us down. 
I grin. Although the climb was pretty fun. The view was incredible. See? It wasn't all bad. <laughs> I know. It was all good-natured. Used to get up so much mischief. We sure did. <laughs> anyway, I think I know where we were going. Paku Park, right? Ah, oh, so there's something in that head of yours after all then, huh? Hey! And so, here we are. Oh, I love this place. I've been here in so long. Yeah, me neither. We take a seat on a wooden bench, which affords us a lovely view of the park around us. Children are playing all sorts of ball games as their parents chat uh, amicably. Dogs are running around as their owners laugh and chase them. I smile. <coughs> I smile. Here, sir, I truly feel like I'm home. I am at home. I think I'd do the both of us a good uh, uh, to take a trip down memory lane, eh? Especially after that fiasco of the festival and everything. Uh, yeah. From the change of her tone and expression, the festival still looks like it's bothering her. I can't blame her. All of the club members are feeling it. I was hoping by f now things would go back to how they used to. Yeah, that. I mean, yeah, the festival was a bit of a failure, but the club is still a nice little place for us five, right? So he looks ahead, idly poking at the trick with her uh, feet. Yeah, it is. I just... I just really wish people weren't so mean. You all practice super hard too. All that for nothing. Hey, come on, Sayori. It's not like you used to, uh, you, uh, you to be super depressing. You shouldn't dwell too much on that, okay? Anyway. What's on this done, right? Besides, I want today uh, to be a good day. She blinks as a slightly shameful look across her features. Uh, yeah, you're right, Kazuma. Sorry. Nah, don't apologize. After all, it was me who, it was me who brought it up, so I can't really talk. <laughs> anyway, I bought here because I know this place means a lot to you. I was worried you might be upset, so I was hoping this could cheer you up. Aw, Kazuma, you didn't have to do that. Well, that button was important, I just need an excuse to get out of the house. She pokes me in the whips as I laugh. And besides, spending time with you on Sunday made me realize that we had a lot to catch up on. She giggles. I guess both of us do uh, don't know where to start. It's almost like we just met and don't know what to say to each other. In a strange way, I guess that is the case to some extent. I guess I'll start. You know, I've always been curious as to why you joined the Glitch Club. I didn't really think poetry was your thing. She leans forward, resting her chin on her knees. Well, Monica and I are actually in the same class. She's the one who told me about it. In a way, I guess I was kinda like you. Like me? Yes, and I didn't really think much of poetry. It's not that I didn't like it, I just didn't think uh, too much about it. But as I joined, and Monica told me more and more about literature, about how poetry can be a really nice way to express yourself, I loved it. Anyone can write poetry, and that's what I really like. It doesn't matter what, who you are, what your interests are, or how good you are. There's something for everyone. Interesting. Yuri, Monica, and Sawyer all appreciate poetry for different reasons. I get the sense that Yuri likes poetry as it gives her opportunity to express deep, complex stuff. Monica seems to be on a uh, similar wavelength to Yuri, but I think she pref uh, prefers abstract stuff more. Then again, I guess Yuri all also uses a lot of abstract themes in her poems. Who knows? I'm still an amateur. <laughs> Say I noticed my chuckle. What's up? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking about how everyone in the club seems to appreciate different things in poetry. Hmm, what else, what else? Sawyer has a faraway look in her eyes as she asks the next question. I remember, we used to think alike in so many ways. Like, when you used to look at clouds, we'd see a, a lot of similar things in the sky. I wonder, do we still do that? I grin, I had totally forgotten how much we used to enjoy cloud watching back in the day. Every time I remember something more from my childhood, it brings a smile to my face. Cloud watching perfectly captured that innocent, carefree, in innocent ess essence of nostalgia. Oh, I really... I had totally forgotten about that. <laughs> we really let our imaginations run wild, didn't we? And the best thing is, it worked. Yeah, clouds are so cool like that. What about that one? She takes my outstretched finger in, the ha in her hands and points it at a specific spot. Huh. I can see that one now. This one looks like a fish. Oh, it's a small. Look at that one. It kinda looks like a little fork. It is what I love about clouds. Just so... What's the word? Chloe? Ow! <laughs> you really like poking you in the whips, don't you? I was trying to think of the right word. Mm, I think I heard Yui say it once. Versatile? I think that means that something is... Uh, I, I forgot. It sounds like it fits. Yeah, I'd say that's about right. Pretty cool how different people see different prints when looking at the same thing. Sa exact same one. I wonder what the other girls would see. Boys, it's got... Ja, nicht angenehm. So... Fluffy kittens for Natsuki and something spooky for Yuri. You really know them well, huh? <laughs> what do you think Monica would see? Huh. A piano? 
I mean, you can interpret a cloud wherever you want, right? I'm just thinking of stuff that reminds me of her. <laughs> but I'm happy that we still uh, could cloud gaze the same way. Yeah, that makes two of us. I was kind of uh, kind of worried that maybe, I don't know, drifted too far apart. So much that we did uh, be totally different persons, uh, people. But that doesn't, that doesn't look to be the case. Yeah. By the way, Kazum, I've been meaning to ask you. How are you doing in school? Jeez, sorry, that's a kind of boring question, don't you think? Don't try and warm it after this one, mister. I still worry about you, you know? I just want to know if you're doing fine, that's all. Ah, oh, there's nothing wrong about it. I'm doing just fine. Sound a bit like mom. I can't tell if that's a compliment or an insult. Eh, uh, Missy will take to her graves, eh? Her subsequent part makes me chuckle. If I got you a popsicle, would that make you less party with me? Hmm. You think you can change my mouth with food, huh? Depends on the flavor. Mental note to itself, if Surya is ever actually annoyed with me, just get her something sweet. Who knows when that information will come in handy later. Das war definitiv eine, äh, Anlehn äh nicht Anlehnung, ähm, äh, Bemerkung, die wir uns, äh, verhalten sollten, denn das müssen wir definitiv, definitiv verhalten. The more I think about it, perhaps I was wrong to worry we have changed too much. After all, I'm pretty much still the same person. Six or, three years, uh, six or so years isn't that much time, I guess. I to find a perspective up. One thing that hasn't changed is how much she loves to explore and how much her imagination accommodates that. Forests were just forests. They were part of a magical land inhabited by an uh, array of mag uh, myth mythical uh, creature creatures. Of the cool. Beaches weren't just, uh, weren't just sand and sea. They were a tropical paradise, home to countless happy childhood memories. Searching for crabs, aimless, uh, aimlessly splashing in the sea, checking out hidden coves. So you could even transform home homes into something they weren't. We used to jump from sofa to sofa, chat to chat, predicting that the floor is, was lava. The game that lava got old. And I'm pretty sure every kid on the planet has played it too. You know something, Zoe? Hmm? Zaddy ahead of me, docking under the tree bench. We're now in the forest part of the park. I've had a sudden, uh, a sudden reala uh, realization as to why your, poem, uh, your poems are so good. <laughs> They're not that good. No, seriously. Your imagination has always been super strong. All those games we used to play as children, you were always part of you. Uh, you were always part of your own little world, and I chosen your poems. I'm glad you picked up on it. Writing poems is half the fun. The other half is showing them to people, especially when they like what you've written. What's your thought process while you write your poems? Like, how do you write them? Mm, I just go with my heart. I guess it's kind of tricky to explain. I think it just depends on my mood. Like when I wrote Dear Sunshine, I was in a pretty good mood. More like you were just hungry given you wrote it while you were eating breakfast. I was in a good mood because I was eating breakfast. Anyway, so with bottles? Well, I guess I was thinking about how much I want people to be happy. So that's the answer to our question. It just depends on my mood and what, hap what I happen to be thinking about. I wonder how the others do it. Yeah, me too, actually. It would have been, would have been kind of interesting to see how you would approach... Uh, you all approach uh, poetry. Although, I think I wouldn't be able to understand how someone like Yuri does it. But poetry still goes on my head. <laughs> Good to know I'm not the only one. Although, what about your fairy tale poem? What was your father process behind that one? Oh, that one. There's an immediate shift in atmosphere. There wasn't really a uh, one. I just felt like writing it, I guess. But you said you write poems based on what you're thinking or, f or feeling at the time, right? What about you, Skazuma? How do you write yours? Uh, I should have known she'd still be a little cagey about that one. Thinking back to her baby on that Friday, I guess it's it, I guess it's to be expected. Just what is it about that poem and her baby that bothers me so much? It's because she chose a side of the story that's totally new to me, or one that I'm not used to? Or because I know there's still something she isn't telling me? Kazuma? Oh, uh, sorry, I was spacing out a little bit. And um, well, I guess I'm similar to you, I suppose. I just pick a bunch of words that best describe what I'm thinking about, and then write a poem based on those. To be honest, I'm not really experienced enough to give you a proper answer. I kind of make it up on the spot. <laughs> but it's worked so far, so I'm not complaining. Stay so pauses, looking out at the cup, uh, cow, cops. Also, zum Glück war da ein R nicht mehr, Alter. Ich hatte schon kurz gedacht, da steht Korps, also der Leiche. Boah. She walks up to a large tree and plants herself down in front of it. I follow suit, resting my back against its sturdy trunk, admiring the soft ways as they penetrate the branches. What you said reminds me of something Monica once told me. It's nothing about you if you don't have confidence, just fake it and tell people who believe you do. She tends to face me, a thoughtful expression on her face. Sometimes I wonder if she really is confident, or it's just a 
or if it's all just a show. I get the feeling that sometimes you can never tell with people. I blink, that was remarkably insightful for Siri. A more elect reflective mood seems to have fallen upon her. No idea, to be honest. She seems pretty genuine. I mean, she was like this when I first met her as well, so that would be an awful long time to wear that mask. I wouldn't have expected that sort of question from you, though. What she asked? So the and she might say mischievously. Sometimes it's nice to surprise people. <laughs> what you mean? Well, let me ask you, Kazuma. If you had to describe me in a few words, which which, uh, which words would you choose? Um, probably and I'm lighthearted? And adventurous. I always seen you as, uh, as quite kind. You know, given how you always consider how, pe how happy other people are. I guess the most definite trait is your happiness, like... You always seem so cheerful and easy with the world. I kinda wish I could be like that sometimes. Although from what I've sort of picked up uh, upon, just like everyone else, you still fit down from time to time. Right? She looks on her head, a faraway look on her face. It's not exactly sad, but there's a certain air of what? Wonder? Nostalgia? See, that's what I mean. Everyone picks up on those things you mentioned, but they find me asking this question a bit. I like me, if you get what I'm saying. I guess it's because of how much I act a little chuck up. Aside with my poetry, I never really talk about deeper things, or things that aren't just aimlessly happy. I guess it doesn't, I just don't want to bother people with that sort of stuff. Bother them? Why, do we, why would it bother them, Siri? Oh, well, maybe that isn't the right word. Say, so, I've never really been that good at expressing myself in person. It's much, much easier to do it in a poem. It's okay. I've never really been good at either. Loved, a lot of the time, I like to think about the past and how things used to be. I told Natsuki about this. She giggles sorrowfully. And Natsuki thinks I live in the past. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, do you? Now, if you're happy, what's the issue? It's only natural that you want to think about the good times that brought a smile to your face, right? When you first started talking again, I used to look back on all those shared memories from all those years ago. From when we first met and bonded over ice cream to me winning uh, Mr. C uh, Cow for you, helping you with homework. I remember how pa parents used to say we were pretty much inseparable. Hmm. <laughs> Everyone has their happy thoughts with ke which keep them going, right? Stood away in bottles, eh? <laughs> of course. He sighs con uh, con contently. Sorry, I didn't mean to bore you in anything. Bore me? Really, sir, you're, you're sounding a bit like Yuri. I haven't seen this side of you before, and I really like it. As much as I enjoy your playful banter, this is made for a really nice change of pace. Besides, I always like talking to you. Thank you, Kazuma. I'm here about, well... So, people are always going to enjoy being your friend, even if you're not so pocket chipper all the time. It's okay, seriously. Just be yourself. Don't hide anything. I'll be here, don't you worry. I reach over and squeeze her hand, smiling reassuringly. She notices he fidgets, looking rather uneasy about something. What's wrong? Actually, there is something I could tell you. I don't know if it's a good idea, though. So, does it mean it's for a good night? Let's watch it. My heart starts as, uh, uh, ways as a million questions start whizzing around my head. Is this about fairy tale? Her behavior on Friday? Some other secret that's coming out of the blue? Or perhaps something else entirely? Or perhaps something else entirely? Sayori? Truth is, I. If this point ever had a sound, it would sound like a ringing phone. Oh, no, nicht dieser Klassiker. With a groan, I fumble into my pocket, clearing at the offending object as if it, know as if it knows it's responsible for such a new moment. It's my mother. I haven't spoken to her in a long time. In fact, the last time we spoke was before I joined the lat a little chocolate up. Oh, really sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to have to take this. A strange smile is on her face. She shakes her head. No, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Hi, mom. I haven't spoken to you in a while. Have you? I've been. Ho hope you've been good. Cosmo, so it's been so long. Work has been so hectic over the past few weeks, and I was thinking you've forgotten all about me. Don't be silly. I always, I always worry about you. I know, Mom. It was just it was just a joke. Ah, uh, you and your sarcasm. You must have gotten that from your father. How have you been, anyway? Are you eating well? Exercising, Daddy? Drinking lots of water? Whoa, whoa, slow down. I've been doing just fine. I have, I've actually joined a club. Oh, wow, that's wonderful. What kind of club is it? Little chill. Funny enough, pawns and stuff. So you told me about it. Uh, uh, she's the vice president. I hope you stick with it. Yeah, I don't think the girls would forgive me if I left. <laughs> Girls, you said. Uh oh. Anyway, now that's really a great time as I've just uh, just chilling with Siri. You know, at the park, uh, at the park you used to always take us to. 
Oh yeah, Miss Sarah, how she's doing? How she's how is she's doing? How is she doing? Jesus. <laughs> but I think I took catch up session actually. She's not she's not changed too much. Anyway, can I tell her call you back later? Kinda calling her off right now. Of course, of course. I have the evening off, so we can talk then, okay? Sure thing. Before I go, you are remembering to eat, right? Oh my eyes, before releasing she can't see that. Yes, mom, of course I'm remembering to eat. But I mean I going on a fast what am I? Going on a fast or something? Or did you think I'm five? I can see Yuri giggling out of the corner of my eye. If I were you, I'd be more concerned about Yuri. Lazy girl can't even get out of the bed. Uh, I grin as I see her left turn in the childish frown. Oh, stop teasing her, Kazuma. You're so mean to her sometimes. Jeez, it's not like her. <laughs> anyway, gotta go. Talk to you later, okay? Love you. Love you too, bye. Ich weiß jetzt schon, dass, mir das, äh, dass der Hauptcharakter das bereuen wird, zu sagen. Tag mal vorne away and turn back to Siri. Uh, sorry about that. Had no idea she called. Hey, it's okay. You haven't spoken to her in a while. So it was nice to hear talk, uh, two talking again. Mm, anyway, what were you saying? You wanted to tell me something? So isn't sitting down by the tree anymore. She's standing up and looks ready to go. Oh, don't worry about that. It was nothing important. Gerade schon wahrscheinlich. You sure? It's, uh, it seemed kind of serious. It's okay. I'm kind of hungry anyway. Can we stop by a coffee on the way home? Lilichi just had a popsicle. Well, you know what they say. Uh, and what, what would that be? Uh, the fridge is a clear example of what, uh, that what matters is on the inside? I stare at her. What does that even have to do with anything? It's about food? You know what? Let's just go in and get whatever you want. We'll be here for a while if I try to understand what goes in Sarah's mind. I have to love you, well. One tasty lunch on me later. Sarah's appetite is finally sa uh, sated. Sated, oh. Uh. It's getting to, uh, to the late afternoon at this point. Hey, Sayori? Not that I didn't enjoy today, but I think I'm gonna have to call it there. This is my own of homework, I haven't even started that stupid on Monday, and I don't think Sakura is gonna be happy with me if it's late. Hmm? I think there has traces of chocolate all over it. She actually attempts to wipe it off. Oh, that's okay. I probably should dis do the same. <laughs> Reach on my house. Okay, well, see you on Monday then. Have a good one. Sure, surely. Bye, Kazuma. Thanks again for, ca for today. No worries. Sorry I win it with a phone call. You didn't. It's okay. I wish I could spend the rest of the day with her, but unfortunately my procrastination has caught up with me. What a fun evening will this still be. Und hier werden wir die Folge, die, glaube ich, etwas länger ist wie die vorherige, definitiv. Und es war schön, mit Siri wieder zu, wieder zu connecten. Und natürlich die Klasse, das Klischee, natürlich das Leben von dem Handy, natürlich ein wichtiger Moment. Oh! Zweiter Akt, Past, Present and Future. Oh, okay, das ist ja ein guter Moment, dann die zu stoppen. Okay, das heißt, wir können nächste Folge mit äh, dem zweiten Akt anfangen. Geil! Okay, das habe ich jetzt nicht erwartet. Und? Blauer Text. Oh, das sieht cool aus. Oh, oh entschuldigt. <lacht> Okay, dann äh, saven wir es hier. Oh, cool. Das haben wir wirklich am guten Moment dann äh, gestoppt. Okay, dann sehen wir uns für die nächste Folge, wo wir dann mit äh, dem zweiten Kapitel anfangen. Und wer weiß, wie, äh, wie weit wir kommen. Auf jeden Fall ist jetzt alles neu. Das heißt, es kommt kein Skip, nichts mehr. Jetzt können wir einfach äh, das genießen. Das Einzige, was wahrscheinlich noch Skip wird, ist halt noch der, äh, der größte Teil von Halloween und äh, äh, halt Weihnachten. Aber sonst, glaube ich, werden wir einfach ganz viele neue Sachen noch erleben. Und ja, das sehen wir in der nächsten Folge. Ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen und bis dann beim nächsten Mal. Tschüss!